So it's the middle of May and finally wow. about 75 degrees here in Germany, which is awesome. So everybody's outside. I stopped at a um, home improvement store this morning and picked up some sweet potato plant and a tomato plant and I've got a whole little backyard garden going so I'm going to share that with y'all but first I'm going to make a smoothie to bring outside with me because it is freaking hot out there <laughs> um, and I'm pasty so I am in my sports bra got some shorts on so I can get some sun soak up some vitamin D while I can because um, in a few days it's supposed to rain for like the next week and be back down into the 60s so got to enjoy the sun when I can it's not like Texas where I'm tan like year-round so I'm gonna make a smoothie. Um, I just recently had my wisdom teeth removed so I can't have anything chunky yet. So I've been using this naked um, organic coconut water instead of milk. I'm trying to cut down on dairy to see if that kind of helps with the acne issues I've been dealing with. Um, I've got some frozen bananas here. I'm gonna use one of those, some spinach and some kale, um, and then this organic um, protein powder in vanilla flavor. For those that notice this giant thing or are probably wondering what the hell it is, it's a transformer. This is an American appliance with an American plug, but we have German plugs here in Europe. So we have to use this giant power transformer thingy so that it works. It takes up so much space, so I just put that there. Make my kitchen counter look a little prettier. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take y'all on a little tour of my backyard garden I've got going. Um, this is totally like therapy to me. I love backyard gardening, watching things grow, getting my hands dirty, um, exposing myself to nature, just things that people don't really do anymore and kind of take for granted. So um, I've got my cute little chicken boots on, got my green shake, I'll give y'all a little tour. My husband built these planting planter boxes, two of them um, with some hardware. I think for around $30. Two pieces here, some pieces for support underneath. We put some chicken wire and then laid a piece of um, fabric that can, uh, like a draining fabric, something that water can come out of um, underneath there. Put some organic soil. Um, and then here I've got some yellow peppers. This is a green pepper plant. These are both organic. That's what that little um, symbol there or BO means so those are growing nicely um they're about double in size that they were when i picked them up from the store a couple weeks ago this is going to be a yellow tomato plant this one i've had since um for about a month now and we had a really bad freeze like the night after i planted it so it's kind of hanging in there i might have to dig that out and try a new one but that is this kind of tomato here i've got um i planted some seeds of a bean bush, string bean bush, so we'll see. Um, it looks like something's starting to grow, but I definitely didn't plant the seed there, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> these two are um, these European cucumbers. I love, we go through a ton of these, and these are actually starting to grow already. As you can see there, strawberries. Again, some organic strawberries. I planted two separate plants. There's one that's growing already. <laughs> nicely actually uh, last year we grew some way too many I overcrowded this little pot um, and the kids every morning would come and eat some over here I just planted these over uh, the weekend on Friday actually so these are radishes that are starting to poke through just today um, there's another little one over there there's gonna be carrots in the middle here you can kind of see something starting to grow and then um, one ochre plant was planted right here. We put two little seeds right in the middle there. Um, another tomato plant, we go through a ton of tom The chickens are out of their coop. And in this little makeshift run, we've got going back here. I need to get some stakes to actually uh, hold it down, but hey yo. This one is not shy at all. She's actually escaped before. We can tell which is which by the size of their little, um, ow, <laughs> their little, uh, gobble things on top of their head. What are those things called? I should probably know. I'm a chicken owner and I don't even know what the hell those things are called. He's their little protector. 
So they've just been eating. Um, there's a bunch of ants that have been crawling along this tree right here. So they just dig and dig all day. Um, I put them back in their coop when I plan on leaving. So we've got this little <laughs> ghetto walkway right here. And today I just planted these. It is a white sweet potato. Um, so we'll see how that grows. And then over here I planted some yellow squash in this one and then some more of the string beans in this. The soil that we used, some organic soil that's good for like all fruits and vegetables and flowers. So yeah, we have not had to cut our grass <laughs> this year yet, which has, which has been awesome. The girls just come out here and mow it all up for us. Huh, I like to do that. So hello. <laughs> the one over there we named Hey Hey. If y'all have seen Moana, you'd catch that reference. She's a little slow. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is my summer project. Um, gardening is not easy. You have to tend to it every day. You got to water them every day and take good care of them. But I'm super excited to see um, what I can produce this year. Um, that's that. Germans actually cut these plants down um, because they grow wildly everywhere. But this is a wild blackberry bush. Um, I mean, it's huge. I've been trying to kind of weave it in and out of the fence so it's easier for us to pick this year because last year was all just kind of back in between the fence and the wall here um so we should be getting as you can see the buds are starting to grow on that a little bit so we should be getting some fresh wild blackberries shortly from that stinging nettles are in abundance here if y'all ever lived anywhere i mean this is a stinging nettle look how huge these are apparently they're not affected um chickens aren't affected by them so the chickens have been having a heyday but they sting like a bitch I actually was gardening over there the other day and I was like kneeling down and all of a sudden my butt started itching and sure enough, stinging nettle got me. Pop-Tart's enjoying the weather too, huh? You're all dirty. He's not an outside cat at all, but when it's nice out and I'm in the backyard, I let him play around out here and he loves it, huh? Yeah. 